Hey guys, what I want to do in this video is really take you through some of the possibilities and opportunities that working with Google Search Console can give to you and that's really the point of today's video. So if you um, are not sure what Google Search Console is, ultimately it's literally console, think like a games console like PlayStation and you've got your you know, gamepad. It's the way that Google can really determine what it is that's going on with your website, you know, how it really appears in terms of search and what are any of the actual issues that it has as, you know, per Google's understanding. It will be the place from which, you know, Google's bots will determine certain things about your website. So having Google Search Console set up really gives you insights into, you know, your performance, URLs, coverage, sitemaps, and all of this kind of stuff. And what we're going to focus upon today for the subject of this is I'm going to do something that a lot of perhaps companies may not do is to really just, you know, look at your actual, you know, look at Pearl Lemon's performance on Google search. And as you can see, Google will give you, you know, some insights into where, you know, it thinks it's, um, or, or how you think, that, how it thinks that you're doing. So let's just jump in and come out of this performance report and then just take a look at some of the you know finer elements of this let's just click got it here we'll go to there and as you can see if we go into here and we have a look at comparison of the last three months of the previous period what will happen is that and this is HTTP HTTPS and the HTTPS site is really your ultimately you know settings based upon secure servers so that's what HTTPS stands for and as you can see over you know the last three months versus the previous six months we've got you know more clicks from the previous three months we're getting more impressions now and our average um, ranking has has actually gone up and what it will show you is you know a lot of information and items here as to you know where your keywords in terms of volume um, you know it's being found and you know what you're being found for so as you'll see and if we just move my video we're being found currently for 1532 different keywords okay and these are the keywords as you can see that are ultimately you know that, that, that has been driven that we're driving actual clicks for so Pearl Lemon videos lead generation agency lead generation agency London SEO company London it's an extremely competitive keyword it's something that we are actually being found for so one of the easiest ways that you could then go and actually you know get a deeper look into this is to go ahead and turn that into um, a Google Sheet so this is um, a really powerful aspect of it will tell you the clicks it will give you the impressions it will give you the average click through rate and it will give you the actual average positions and if we also then jump into sorry if we also then look rather at, so let me go back into performance you can have a look at really the keywords that you are being found for so one of the ways that you know I would really look at something like this is that you could go to here you could just create a filter then you could just think about you know the, the the keywords that you know you want to you know come up for and what it is that uh, so if we could go to clear clear all of the keywords we'll type in SEO and then we'll go and have a look at SEO we we'll select all into there and, and off we go as you can see from the aspect of words that contain the keyword SEO and we're certainly you know getting some impressions but we're not getting clicks from some of these actual keywords but this will give you a real sense of some of the keywords that we're currently being found for and then you can compare this as against your website and start thinking well where can I begin inserting more of these keywords that you know potentially um, you know are meaningful to the company um, across across the website so one of the things you could potentially do is you know take this list right as an example and there's um you know there's a lot of keywords that we are being found here for which is which is brilliant and let's just do this the quicker way copy that and then so once you've got a list like that as you've seen that I've done you could look at of course as I said the keywords that are meaningful for your business you see what you're appearing for and then you can take that list and go to a free keyword search tool like searchvolume.io type in the keyword and it'll give you up to 800 right that you can quickly go and have a look at and then you can export this list and ultimately what you've now got very simply is uh, is a really powerful list and let's just cancel this it's a really powerful list of keywords that ultimately your business has some level of rank for and what we're going to see now is the actual search volumes as you can see and then what we'll also do now is and let me just change the actual size so it fits within the screen 
give me a second. There you go. The next thing that we'll do is we'll just fix some of this data. So, as you'll see, we'll do this. We'll select data. We'll go, we'll go to data. We'll go text to columns. We'll go to next. We'll go to um, space, as you can see. Or we'll go to, rather, what we'll do is we'll go to semicolon. Go next. We'll click finish. And then, as you'll see, what it will do is it will give you an entire list of the keywords that you have that you're appearing for as well as their actual search volumes and then based upon this you can get a sense of okay which are the keywords that are meaningful which are the keywords that are achievable and you can then begin producing even more content based around some of these keywords to then rank your website further still and this is an excellent way to actually use Google Search Console to inform content updates content you know calendars and all of that level of stuff in terms of what you might then do to 10x service pages as well as actual blog content. So that is really one of the key powers of Google Search Console.